Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So it is not only the chambers which are present inside the heart. There are also some valves which are present which act like uh, you can say doors between the various uh, chambers. So when blood has to flow from one chamber to another, so that regulation or that control on the flow of blood is given by the valves. So let us see what are the various valves present inside the human heart. So each valve have a speciality that it opens one way and controls the flow of blood. So the valves will allow the blood to flow in one particular direction. It doesn't allow bi-directional flow of blood. So let us see the various valves. So the first valve is the pulmonary valve. So it is present between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. So where is the pulmonary artery? This is pulmonary artery. What does the pulmonary artery do? Just to check if you remember, normally arteries carry oxygenated blood. This was the only exception. So it carries deoxygenated blood from heart to various parts of the body. So this will carry it from the right ventricle. So if you see this is right ventricle, this is right ventricle and this is the pulmonary artery. So between right ventricle and pulmonary artery you have this valve. This white colored structure which you see, the flap. So this valve is called the pulmonary valve. So when this valve opens up, it gives space for blood to flow from right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. So this is pulmonary valve. The next type of valve is tricuspid valve. This is present between right auricle and right ventricle. So this is right auricle and this is right ventricle. So between these two uh, right auricles and ventricles you have a valve here. So when this opens blood can flow from right auricle to right ventricle. But just have a closer look at this. All these valves allow blood to flow in one specific direction. For example, tricuspid valve will allow the flow of blood only from right auricle to right ventricle but not in the vice versa direction. It will not never allow blood to flow from right ventricle to right auricle. So it will only allow the blood to flow from right auricle to right ventricle. The third valve is the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve. It is present between left auricle and left ventricle. So you have left auricle here and left ventricle here and between these two you have this valve which is the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve. So this will when this opens it allows blood to flow from left auricle to left ventricle. And finally the aortic valve which is present between left ventricle and aorta. So aorta is an artery and it is the largest artery. So the largest artery is given the name of aorta. So you see this is left ventricle. So from left end ventricle, the oxygenated blood will enter into the aorta and from there it will go to different parts of the body. So here you have another valve which is called aortic valve. So you see each of these valves, whenever they are open, only then they will allow the flow of blood and that too it will allow the blood to flow in one specific direction and when they are closed there will be no flow of blood. So because of that property we say that valves control the flow of blood because they allow blood to flow only when they are open otherwise they do not allow flow of blood. So due to the presence of all these valves we are able to actually regulate the movement of blood within the heart. So when at a particular time one particular valve will open maybe some other valve will remain closed. So when we learn the uh, exact flow of blood inside the heart, we will get a better understanding of how valves open and close. So now you might wonder that why do we have so much complication for transport of blood? First of all, we have a heart, okay, that's fine because that acts as the pump to pump blood to various parts of the body. Then we have divided the heart into four different chambers. And then we said that, okay, that was necessary. Then we have, have valves between every two chambers. Now, why do we have so much of complication for transport of blood? So let us take a common example. Forget about the heart. Just think of this house. So there is a house where every day, they, the people living inside the house, they buy fresh vegetables 
and then they prepare those vegetables they eat up and whatever waste materials are there in the house what do they do they put them into their dustbin and what happens to the dustbin what is supposed to happen to the dustbin the dustbin is supposed to be thrown out of the house so you see all the rotten vegetables or all the vegetable peels or skins which are not edible all of them are put into this dustbin and the dustbin is supposed to be thrown out of the house whereas what happens to the fresh fruit and vegetables the fresh fruit fruit and vegetables are supposed to enter inside the house now how would it happen how would it be if i mix these fresh fruits and vegetables with the rotten vegetables in the dustbin do we ever think of mixing both of these no of course not because one of them is desirable for the house so the people inside the house they want these fresh vegetables and they want to get rid of these rotten vegetables so we need to ensure that the fresh fresh vegetables and the rotten vegetables never mix with each other both of them should always remain separate so in a similar way in case of blood transport also the oxygenated blood contains oxygen which is desirable by the cells of the body whereas the deoxygenated blood contains ox carbon dioxide which is not desirable by the cells so therefore it is important that oxygenated and deoxygenated blood do not mix with each other so to prevent the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood first of all the heart has been divided into four chambers and why do we have the valves so that the valves can actually regulate the movement of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so that at any point in time both of them do not uh, face each other or both of them do not encounter and get mixed with each other so that is why we have separate set of valves so looking at this example you can see that these fresh fruits and vegetables are just like the oxygenated blood and the rotten vegetables are just like the car the deoxygenated blood which needs to be thrown out of the body so so much complication is just to ensure that the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood should remain away from each other and they should not get mixed thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.